This is how this is what it is being a CEO, you know, of a multi million dollar company. And I'm completely tired, I'm completely exhausted, and every single person in my organization is looking at me for the answers. You know, the funny thing is, and every single customer is looking for the answers. And I don't have an answer right now. I'm so aware of myself. in divine timing. It's a beautiful day out here in the neighborhood. So today I gotta go over to my new warehouse slash studio slash headquarters. It's been a long time to make it, man. I'm just excited, you know, I got some internet guys meeting me over there. Loud as hell right now, but you know what I'm saying? I really just stay down, man. And we live in like a link up culture, man. Like, you know, sometimes you gotta link up with yourself. You know, I see Instagram is like a show. A lot of people, you know, linking up to do this and do that. And, you know, just to show off more. And if you soul searching, there's nothing wrong with being solo and running solo, linking up with yourself, linking up with God, linking up with your higher self, trying to figure out how you get to the next level. You know, nothing against, you know, collaboration and all that. But like, you know, it's a, it's a time. Sometimes you gotta do things on your own. You know, and I've been working hard, man, and um, stayed down, rolled solo, had some tough times. And now I'm just like, yo, it's time it's, it's time to get it done. And I done linked up with myself. I done linked up with my heart. So I done talked to God. You feel me? And like, it's about that time, man. It's about that time. So I can't wait. I'm going to head over to the new headquarters later. And um, I just got some big shit coming, man. You heard it here, man. I don't know what today is. It's like April 10th or something, 2021. Watch by the end of this year. Watch at the end of this year what happens i'm telling you how i'm coming wait till the end of this year i'm about to light this shit on fire baby i done did all the work i done did experience and i had the toughest times i done battle i'm god's warrior now he gave me all the experiences i needed he gave me all the experiences i needed all the pain and torture emotional spiritual mental physical i didn't mm, come on man listen mm, yeah <laughs> it's coming baby i promise you it's coming so i just want everybody that's watching this video if you rolling solo and you feeling like you're not part of the in crowd, sometimes the in crowd ain't your crowd and everything that's good ain't right for you. So you getting right with yourself, man, you, you doing it. You know what I'm saying? You are doing it. Continue to do it. You see what I'm saying? It's going to work for you. All right, peace. Right now I'm at this vegan spot. It's pretty good. Um, come here probably once every couple of months when I'm in the area. So I'm just going let y'all see what I got. You know what I'm saying? Right now I got me some, got some vegetable spring rolls and I got me some purple yam cakes. These are yam cakes. I ain't even haven't, haven't had these. So basically it's like a yam, purple yam. And this right here, it's pretty good. Tastes good, pretty good. But yeah, that's how we rock them. My life is pretty chaotic right now. I'm in the process of doing a complete renovation of my new spot. I just locked down a new headquarters, which is getting renovated as well. So I got my business being renovated, got my personal life being renovated, got a whole bunch of illegal stuff going on for my businesses, insurance. Every day is crazy and I got people working in all areas of my life and businesses. I got, um, you know, I got content being edited for my personal brand, my copywriters, um, she's working on my book with me. Got my uh, team, my, my, my editing team for my music album that's coming out, my motivational uh, motivational speaking album. They're all working. Supplement team's working. My interior designs are working. My interior designer is working. My accountant is working. My editors in the Philippines are working. My video editors are working. My interns are working. My customer service team is working. Like, I got a lot going on, man. And people be talking about they busy. So when somebody ever tell me they busy, or they got a lot going on, I can't listen to it because I got a lot going on. That's something I got to deal with. But I'm going to deal with it. It's days, that, it's days I go to sleep, you know, with everything on my mind. And that's why I got to decompress before the night. You know what I'm saying? I don't go right to bed. I got to get in that tub. I got to meditate. Because life is crazy. You know what I'm saying? I got to make sure my mind is right. And when I wake up in the morning, you know what I'm saying? That's when my routine is still keeping me going through this chaos. 
even in the midst of chaos, you're always guided. You still gotta listen, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm at a point right now in my life where, you know what I'm saying, I'm used to chaos, like I'm battle tested. I got experience dealing with all types of chaos, different levels of chaos. Like from where I grew up, you know, that type of chaos, growing up, unstable environments to business chaos to personal chaos spiritual chaos you know trying to find myself but one thing i always knew is i was always guided back to myself back to my god consciousness you know what i'm saying the god in me back to god you know always on that path you know what I'm saying? even when shit get like completely out of order i just thank god you know what i'm saying at this point i think i get to a point sometimes where we try to fix everything ourselves we want to physically fix everything when it's most time to be spiritual and believe, you know what I'm saying? So that's where I'm at. And I'm doing this while I'm eating. <laughs> but um, just to give a little backdrop, I haven't been on the internet in like a year and a half, or maybe a year and a quarter. So just reintroducing myself as an entrepreneur, as the owner, founder, CEO of X28 Fitness. Um, the Loft Athletic Club is a gym I own in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? For anybody that doesn't know me, you know, I'm at to build myself back up. I completely went off the internet. Like, I ain't want it no more. I'm glad I got a taste of what that stuff felt like early. You know what I'm saying? With the minimal, I would say minimal fame that I had, you know, getting, you know, making money and all that. That don't really bring nothing, man. Like, it brings something, but after a while, it's an expiration date on that. Like, it's no longevity and fame. There's no longevity and material things no longevity and money and they you know people that don't have it will tell you what well, shit i just want to be in your position i want the money and all that i'll give it to you like take it see what happens you know what i'm saying you enjoy it. it does solve problems allow you to do things but if your mind ain't right if your spirit ain't right at what time is going to destroy you you see what i'm saying like you got to have that right or it's going to destroy you but i'm just ready to get in there I'm ready to like take my life to a whole other level. I've accomplished so much, you know, and I did a lot, man. I've helped many millions of people through fitness and mindset, business, you know what I'm saying? Um, everything that I put out there, I'm about to just get on a roll, you know what I'm saying? And just, you know, give, give the world my truth, give them me. I got some big things coming up that I can't talk about right now. But they're gonna be crazy and give the world my truth and i want everybody to get the world their truth just being themselves you know what i'm saying like like who are you right here you know Fred trying to fight flies i mean wasp but now i'm here i meant to, i meant to tell y'all earlier i'm at the headquarters now so i'm back so it's just a little bit of the inventory a ghost snuck in he don't want to be named he does Big business behind the scenes. I'm not gonna tell you who it is. <laughs> he walking away. <laughs> Sometimes when these supplements goes out, there's a there's a hidden force behind them. I ain't gonna tell you about that. Anyway, so now, you know, I'm still getting some stuff situated in here. Got some, I don't know, renovation stuff. We got a little plastic hazmat. Like I'm in like some type of quarantine situation. Got going here like that. You mean? So. Getting this all situated. Yeah, but uh, basically what we're gonna be doing today is I got the internet people coming and put the internet in. Um, I didn't have plenty of headquarters, don't get it twisted. This is, I'm just documenting this one. This is like, you know, I've been in business for a while and I realized that I never showed anybody the process of what I did. I just kind of ran and then like created a real business. Um, well, not, I'm <laughs> not like it was a fake business, but I'm saying like it has, it has a team, it has inventory, it has a warehouse, it has a headquarters, you know what I'm saying? I've already done this multiple times, but I'm gonna show the process this time because um, we're about to do it even bigger this time. So, like I've had, I got a gym, have had multiple gyms, multiple headquarters, multiple offices, but um, this is the first time I'm gonna actually show people the process of actually building it up and then showing how these motherfucking supplements about to go to the moon, right? So we just kind of been playing around with them, you know what I'm saying? Ain't really had no processes and no warehouse and no thing. We just sent out, you know, some simple, emails here and there and they still do well but now when i start advertising them for real organically start doing some ads compounding that with our amazing email channels and marketing and all that it's about to get crazy man i'm gonna show y'all how this happens right so a lot of people can talk to you about business 
but where is their headquarters? Where is their, where are the people that they work with? Where is their partnerships? You know, a lot of people are selling information and that's kind of like selling skill sets. But, you know, sometimes I want to let you guys know what really goes into business, like true service product, you know what I'm saying? So, um, we got all types of stuff, man. I don't even know what this is. What is this? I don't know, but some stuff, somebody will handle it. But yeah, um, so this is gonna be a little bit more process oriented. I think this would be cool to show. What you think, Cuz? Think it's good? Oh, I thought you were live. I ain't, I ain't live. Oh, I, ain't, I ain't on IG for like another month. Oh, okay. Until I get all this situation on point to be on there. Like, I don't, I ain't selling nothing. <laughs> so, until I get that situated, I'll be back on IG. Fred is a man of few words. He don't like talking to nobody. He don't even exist. I'm trying to get him on camera. He's trying to walk out the frame. <laughs> Dude's crazy. One thing you gotta understand about business is that, you know, the same enthusiasm you had when you started the business, that may not be the same enthusiasm you have as you try to continue the business. And I say all the time, you know, the easiest thing to be motivated to do is start. But what about when you need to continue? What about when you need to scale? Also, when you choose your business partner, you gotta understand it's like a marriage. You are now committed to that person. So you gotta think from the beginning, what does this person bring to the table? What am I bring to the table? Look at their work ethic, look at their core values, look how they line up as a person. Um, things that I've all had experience with and things I had to learn in different partnerships and in solo businesses. You know, now when I do enter a business, I gotta really identify who am I partnering with because this is not just, you know, you guys can get excited at the moment, but then you gotta deal with that person. It's kind of like marriage. You, you marry somebody, you know what I'm saying? And you looking at them, you like, yo, after like five years, maybe five months, maybe five days, like who is this person? You know what I'm saying? I don't know who this is. So that's when you gotta look at it business too, is like, who am I dealing with? And you really gotta assess that when a certain skill set is needed and it's not able to be delivered long-term, now you are committed to whatever equity you're giving up, whatever partnership that you've decided to, and, um, you know, put yourself into, you know what I'm saying? That's just that's just how it is, that's, that's law. So, you know, this is for all my entrepreneurs and aspiring entrepreneurs before you get into business remember this is like a marriage it's going to be something committed you got to be committed to the business long term more than just the motivation to start it you got to be committed to wherever you go into business with long term so you got to look at that person look where they are so do they match up are you guys in alignment can you be in alignment are your skill sets both going to be things that are needed long term for the business all right those are things you need to look at because sometimes people get in business with someone where their initial skill set is needed, but then long term, that person doesn't keep growing or keep learning, and the other person may keep growing or learning, and the next thing you know, you guys are growing apart, and that just happens in business, and that's just the nature of I'm not saying it's wrong or it's right, but I'm just saying that's what happens, so you really got to decide what do you want out of your business, what do you want out of your life, what do you want out of the people that you're partnering with, and what do you want your overall, I guess, you know, conglomerate of things that you have now to look like, you know, when you start this business, what do you want it to look like long term? All right. It's a little game, man. And that's the G code. Real life. Real business. Yeah. You know, we got some customers, new customers, old customers. Some can purchase, some can't. Some we're getting through, some can't. Um, we're losing a lot of customers right now. And this is part of the process. <laughs> We didn't make a post on social media. This was literally just off of, you know, some buildup that I did, social media buildup and a few Instagram lives. And we launched today and couldn't handle it. We weren't ready. This is how, this is what it is being a CEO, you know, of a multi-million dollar company. And I'm completely tired, I'm completely exhausted and every single person in my organization is looking at me for the answers. You know, the funny thing is, and every single customer is looking for the answers. And I don't have an answer right now. <laughs>